Hi, welcome to another video in my series on why particular transformations do what they do. And in this particular video, I'm going to be looking at y equals f of x plus a, which will translate the graph of y equals f of x a units upwards and y equals f of x minus a, which translates the graph of y equals f of x a units downwards. So why does it do this type of transformation? Well, to answer this, if you've been following my other videos in this series, you'll know that I've taken this graph of y equals f of x and I've picked it to go through some nice clean points which will help us in demonstrating how this works. So first of all, we'll build up our grid where we have our x values going from minus 3 to 4. And we need to work out the corresponding y values for these x coordinates. So in other words, we're looking at y equals f of x. So for instance, when x equals 4, we can see that f of 4 will equal 3. And similarly, you can see that when x equals 3, from the graph, we've got when x is 3, the y coordinate is 1. f of 3 then equals 1. So if you were to substitute all these values into f of x, you can read off the corresponding y values and fill them in this row here. Well, to save time, I've done that, and you can check them out, OK? Now, let's have a look at this first transformation. y equals f of x plus a, a being, say, a positive value. So if we were to take, for instance, y equals f of x plus 1, then what does this give us for our values in this row? Well, if we take x equal to 4, then what we're doing is f of 4 plus 1. And we can see that f of 4 is 3. And we could have got that quite easily from the graph, f of 4 is 3, as we did before. And then we've got to add 1 to that value. So if we add 1 to the value here, 3, we're going to get 4. So what we have is this result. f of 4 plus the 1 gives us 4. Let's try it for another one. Suppose we look at when x is minus 1. We can see that y would equal f of minus 1 plus 1. And f of minus 1 is 2. And all we've got to do is add 1 to this value. Well, clearly, that's going to be 3. And I've got it here. OK, f of minus 1 plus 1 equals 3. So hopefully you can see that all I'm doing is just simply adding 1 to all my corresponding values that I had up here for y. So if we complete this row, then what you're going to have is this, OK? I've put those values in. Now, what happens if we plot these points? Well, all I'm doing is just adding 1 to the previous y value. So when x is minus 3, I now have 0. So you can see that's gone up to there. At minus 2, we get 1. And if we keep this up, you'll see that all my points here have been raised one unit. So what we end up with is a translation of our original graph. Let's just put it on. A translation of one unit upwards. And you can see it goes through those points. So we'll mark that on as y equals f of x then plus 1. Now let's have a look at something like this, y equals f of x minus a. Suppose we take then y equals f of x minus 3. And what happens here? Well, if we take x equals 4, say, and we work out f of 4 minus 3, then 
f of 4 is 3 and all we've got to do is subtract 3 from this value so it's going to give us 0. So what we've got then is f of 4 minus 3 equals 0. And all I'm doing really is taking away in this particular example 3 from each of my y values that I've got up here. So if we fill those values in what we've got is this set of values. And we can start plotting them. When x is minus 3 we see that the y value is minus 4. So minus 3 minus 4 is this point down here. And then at minus 2 it's now minus 3. So at minus 2 it's minus 3. So what's happening to these points on the red graph here is I'm reducing them by 3 values, 3 places. And if I do that what's actually happening then is that my graph results in a translation of 3 units downwards. Okay, so if I draw that graph on I can translate it downwards by 3 units and it should pass through those points. Let's just mark this on then as y equals f of x minus 3. So what we've got in summary then for these two examples is that y equals f of x plus 1 translates y equals f of x one unit upwards and y equals f of x minus 3 translates y equals f of x three units downwards. So hopefully this has been able to give you an idea of how this particular notation works and why it works like this.